All right, yo, check it out. Let's go, man. Let's do best in the game. For this time, I got Dang and Ropa, Trigger, Happy Havoc. I think this is the first game. If it's not the first game, y'all gonna be mad as f in the comments. But I think this is the first game I'm supposed to play. Man, shout out to y'all for commenting down below, letting me know that y'all wanted to see me rock with it. You feel what I'm saying? Since I don't really got nothing else to say, I ain't finna waste somebody else's time. We just gonna hop into it, bro. New game, please. You ain't shit. Can I change it later? Like if, if I wanted to if I wanted to uh uh change the language later, would y'all let me or is it gonna make me restart the whole shit? That shit might be a permanent choice, huh? I'm gonna ask y'all a little too late, ain't I? Whatever, bro. Logic difficulty? I mean, fuck it, I play on hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that nigga. I play on hard. Yeah. Somebody says you just fucked your whole channel with that one. <laughs> Alright, bro. It's time already. Huh? What's this freak ass scene on my screen right now? Oh no, that shit not freaky. They sending folks to outer space. I think. Yep. What could he have possibly done to deserve that? Here you go, bro. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm looking out for you. I ain't forget. I got some chips, but they the the blue Doritos, bro. You know after you eat them shits, you can't talk to nobody in their face because your breath t smell like fungus. Breath smell like fucking fingernail dirt. Hell no, nah. you can't talk in nobody face after you eat them shits. They taste good, but at what what cost? The cost of you getting any romantic play. Ain't nobody taking you serious with a breath like that. They didn't turn my boy into fucking all right. Sticks and stones may break my bones And you know a word can't break me, baby Still can't find a reason why they hate me, baby I'm tweaking I gotta lock in I'm singing songs and shit I gotta lock in This an investigation game, ain't it? The massive high school towers over all the other buildings In this bustling urban area So when usually when niggas say urban It's gonna be some niggas around I know ain't no niggas over there in Japan, so what the fuck is going on here? It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. This shit just looks like, like, sadness. I don't know. Certain color combinations just make me feel like I want to go home and go to sleep forever. And this is one of them color combinations. I don't want this on my screen any longer. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. I see that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Peak a friend of them. Hang on, hang on. Mm-hmm. There are two things you need to, uh, them, uh-huh. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And sitting at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students, was me before we go any farther i guess i should introduce myself my name's makoto naegi voice acting makoto as you can see i'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student can i raise what? um do i have settings i don't have settings fuck i wanted to raise the voice acting damn fuck as you can see i'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student average on the outside average on the inside Really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do. It's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever most popular at that particular moment. I don't really have a favorite song right now, but I'll tell y'all, and I'm probably gonna get, it's a couple of, it's, it's, a, it's a couple of Megan and Stout, it's a couple of uh, hot girls in my comments that's about to dislike my shit when I say this, but Nicki Minaj uh, uh, with, that Lil, uh, with that Lil Wayne on High School, that's one of the best songs of all time in my opinion. I love that song so bad. Favorite TV show right now, Invincible, even though it just went off. And then my favorite movie, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. I like a lot of fuck. You know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just pick an easy one that I've watched about four times, Inception. Let me know what yours is, bro. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I think it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I seem a little more gung-ho than other people. What that mean? You a go-getter? I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. 
here I am standing in front of anything but uh, mm, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. Still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me could survive in a place like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. Damn. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be a grown ass man. I gotta act my age. Swallowed up. I couldn't hold it in, bro. TD Jakes, TD Jakes attacked me. He attacked me. Have you ever been swallowed? Like it's attacking me, bro. I can't let it go. It's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for the day. Hope's Peak Academy 15. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. Such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw, um, all I, um, nah, and, uh, uh, and all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. They predicted this shit. When, when did this game come out? They, they predicted K-pop. Mm-hmm. Guess he's a high school girl who's also led, uh, led, mm, lead singer for a pop group famous all over the world. So this is Miley's behavior, but female version, for sure. Where his miss is right. Oh, uh, man, that used to be my shit, bro. I used to fuck with all of Miley's behavior songs, but this is the thing, though. The main reason I even got on to Miley's behavior is because when they first came out, I was in fourth grade, and these girls kept calling me Ray Ray. I'm like, who the fuck is Ray Ray? They was like, how you don't know who Ray Ray is, shorty? So I'm like, why is you calling me that? They say, oh, my God, you look just like him. I look folks up. The only reason they were saying that is because um, I used to rock the big ass, the two shits. What you, the French braids? I don't know. I used to rock the two shits. And then what had happened was, kid me, I was like, damn. I want the hoes to love me like they love Ray Ray. So then I started learning how to dance and shit just to get the approval of, of Cooch. Yeah, long story short, that shit didn't work out. I danced for some years after that, but I was, you know, I'm on Ray Ray. But... <laughs> I don't know, man. Sorry. Yeah. Oh my God. If you new here, I'm letting you know right now. I am. Uh, yeah. You might want to click my. You might want to click off my shit. It's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already had their eyes on him. So this is LeBron of uh, baseball for sure. But uh, mm. then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. <laughs> Damn. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. Why is that a why is that criteria for a school? I think that's fucking with me for some reason. Scary thing is, he's a de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. He look like a fucking black widow in that image right there. He like a damn spider. With corn on the cob. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler. I already saw who the ultimate fanfic creator was. I don't even have to assume who it is. I know who it is. I saw that man. Uh-huh. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride alliance. Still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there was a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how hard I looked. And all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me? Without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the... Uh, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter to send to sit them. Mm -mm. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you've been selected, and we invite you to join as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't say no, bro. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. 
Said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 o'clock. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but she probably just headed in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do this! Ah! I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. I took the first step towards the main hall and bust my shit open. Oh, okay, he didn't. I thought he was on some Deku shit, honestly. Yeah, this hall is making me sad. I don't even know why. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. It's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7:10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I had plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. Nah, uh, what? I probably read that wrong as shit. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help calm me down a little bit. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around, right? It helped me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step in the whole speak academy. It's also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Is this like a boarding school? Bully- mm. I've been drugged. What the fuck? Water! Water! But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It's like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. I get your bitch fucked. Sorry. And then the next moment, everything went black. Dog mutt. That's how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Host Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so that I could experience ultimate despair. Wow. Welcome to despair. Okay. Do you want to save the data? Yes. Why not? Okay. I get your bitch fucked. Dog mutt. <laughs> <laughs> your hair looks sharp as shit. Mm -hmm. oh, what? Where am I? Woke up with my head resting on top of the hard wooden uh, desk. Somebody about to call me a weed because I even know the name of this anime, but what is up with that Iruma shit that he got on the top of his head? That boomerang hair shit. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing to sleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. The fuck is happening? Uh... Welcome to Host Peak Academy. Firstly, we like to explain the basic controls. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object, you can interact with it by pressing the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use Wasit um, to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? I get your bitch fucked. Huh? Are oh, you saying I can't go no further that way? Dog mutt. It's that desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Where do you see that at and why do you see that? I have to clean that up later. What's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Uh, starting today, this school will be your entire world. An orientation guide? Some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. Here's some handwritten on it. Okay. The fuck? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Ew, the fuck? Why are you looking at me like that? The fuck? Ew, shit. The fuck? In any normal class, that's where a window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... <laughs> yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Oh, That's my type of woman. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see London Journal Must 11. Okay, get the fuck off my screen. Get the fuck off my screen. I already did that. Get off. Get off my screen. Okay, what they say? Oh, camera. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. Guess they have to keep these weirdos from just wandering in. I get your bitch fucked. Dog mutt. That shit's stuck in my head now. I should have never even... Okay. It's a TV. School is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have a TV in here. Something feels off, though. wonder what it is. Your bitch look like paper mache. It don't even look like you got an inside. It don't even look like you got a core of, of wires. That shit look like it's not functioning. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It's just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... 
I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean it's the classroom inside this whole peak. Then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really fucking strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past meeting time. There might be other students here now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the I key. For sure that, thank you. Lead the error. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, it's always kind of weird, too. It's getting stranger by the second. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. <sighs> well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the watch keys to move through the hallway. Hold shift while moving the run. Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. I get your bitch fucked. Where the main hall at? How I know. It just say in. It just say in. Uh! Bitch, that scared the shit out of me. Because when you walk into it, it picks a direction that it forces you to go because you can't go that way. That just scared the shit out of me. The spare hotel. I guess it's a place people stay overnight. But anyway, I need to find the main hall. It's a cafeteria. Oh, no. Never mind. Room 1B. The door's locked tight. Thought it was a cafeteria. What this is, 1C, 1A. Don't one budge, for sure that. This beat smooth. I might start rapping in this bitch. Y'all don't wanna hear that. Wonder when this door, red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Hmm. That shit smell like congeal. That shouldn't have a stench, honestly. Damn. Hey. School store, I guess it's not open. Alright, well, are y'all mad that I got this map up on my screen? Y'all let me know, but I don't know where I'm at. What else I supposed to do? What this is? Oh, well, I wouldn't have walked in there if I knew that there was... Okay. By the time I got back to the mail, everybody was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Better not nobody try to press me. I'll stick you in your fucking face. There go that fanfic nigga right there. I see him. Yup. Some of these bitches tall as shit. My gosh. What the fuck you be eating? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. <laughs> hey, that bitch with the corn on the cob. That nigga is fucking with me. Somebody says you look like that nigga right in front of you right there. Alright, watch out. That might be that might be racially motivated what you just said to me. So counting him, that makes fifteen. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Probably not. Standing here before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered up, talking in their or taking in their faces one at a time. Sorry. Yeah, I was just imagine it, but I swear I can feel some kind of aura coming from each one of them. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Naigi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happening in, all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Oh, you too? Hmm. Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. The fuck are you talking about? Honestly, I have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Listen to me! Who is he talking to? Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware that the meeting was supposed to start at 8 a.m. sharp. Surely you are aware that I'm a nigga that's gonna punch you in your fucking teeth. You should've knew who I was. Watch your fucking mouth. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. Why is the ultimate police officer in here? I know he got a gun specifically for darker skin. Get him off my screen. What? The fuck is your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The fuck? Now's no fucking time for introductions. <laughs> Your eyes are pink. I'm not ever taking you seriously. Maybe. But it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... Alright. So, let's get introductions out the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best for... Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, God. I'm getting attacked. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I guess this is as good as the chances I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Help Speak Academy thread online, but... I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. 
All right. I'll stop by talking to those five over there. You would not go to the darker skinned people first. Makado, I'm on to you, bro. I'm on to your shit. And you want to talk? You want to? You want to talk to this police ass nigga and a nigga who, nigga who balls about to touch the flow? Okay, bro. I'm Why your nuts dragging? I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. That ain't even working with shit with you. Fuck off, fucking twelve ass nigga. The ultimate moral compass? No, that bitch is the ultimate police. I guess that's the ultimate moral compass, huh? My bad. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the walk, uh, blah, blah, uh, the works that he's done with his community's public morals community. So he's an ultimate bitch. Sorry. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. I don't like him. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? Yes, I hear you, but can you get the fuck back? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! My gosh. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right! This guy is kind of fucking annoying, I know. Toko Fu Fukawa. Fukawa. Toko. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Okay, you want it all? For sure. You want some Yandere shit? For sure. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Is the music supposed to be this loud over you? Ultimate writing prodigy? For sure. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. And two years ago, she released So Ling is the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest man pole. Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? I figured she'd be lovey-dovey. Um, I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a ro- Okay. <laughs> did you- did you giggle or sneeze? What was that? What's your problem? Oh. It's not polite to stare, you know? Okay, you- you, you like me? You feeling me? Ooh. What the heck? Okay, never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature! My bad. Filthy creature? Nah, I just thought- <laughs> I, I know what you just thought. Are you about to turn into Frieza? Look at your fucking head right now. Can you calm down? You just thought you'd never see such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. The only thing that's throwing me off about you, Toko, is your hand-to-head ratio. I ain't never... Her hand is as big as my palm alone. And her shit... Look at her hand-to-head ratio. That's what's fucking me up about you, Toko. That ain't what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you... Okay, and then she tried to twin with me because she got a mole on her left lip. I got one too, bitch. You're not the only one. You think you somebody and you not. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. It's way off about what a successful author would be like. Sayaka? Hi. I look forward to getting to know you. All right. This must be that pop that, that pop dot. Yep. I'm going to have to sing. I'm going to have to sing somebody a song, but I'm going to save it for my niggas, though. Sayaka Maizono. I saw her name in that thread online. Frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's a lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on television and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. This is my thing. If you in popular and in very high demand, what would you need to go to a school for that solidifies your life if you basically already solidify? Ain't you already... And, and then ain't you already basically signed to a label? Did your label sell you? Or did your label buy you? And you ain't even making no fucking funds off your shit. That's fucked up. But that's the story how that shit go most of the time. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Don't read my mind ever again. Huh? Did you hear me? Uh... I'm psychic. Huh? No, you're not. The other one is clairvoyant. You you cannot be psychic. <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. No, the fuck you don't. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... No, that's not what that is. That bitch always get called a doll. So she just assumes anytime you do that glance that that's what the fuck you saying. I don't got nothing to do with intuition. I got to do with repeated exposure. Hey, by any chance... What up? Huh? 
Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. There's a cock block on my screen. There's a cock block on my screen. Good God. Your forehead is the size... I was just about to go off. I was about... Crispin was about... Crispin... Crispin was about to catch a stray for no reason. And every other nigga that has that same condition that he has. They were about to catch a stray for no reason. I'm gonna keep my mouth closed. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um. Sorry, just got carried away. I get You just mad that she not feeling you. Get the fuck back, pussy nigga. You hear me? I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to just stop reading his shit. I might just click through him. I might just click through him. I ain't even gonna lie to you. He one of them niggas that I don't wanna I don't wanna engage with. Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. You're dis you're dis disrespecting a, a future U U U U U U Army soldier. That's what the fuck. That's what that's what energy he's given. Honestly, I can't stand this nigga. Um, y you're right. No, he's not. Don't fucking bow down to that nigga. Sorry. Who taught you to be submissive? Grow out of that. We can talk about this later. And then that bitch disappeared. It sounds like she's had really cause she feeling you. It's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like she said, we could talk later. But it's not uh, sorry, but it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Pussy nigga. Fuck you. Do I got the option to punch this bitch? Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce in. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you. Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? <laughs> this nigga think he cool. This nigga think he cool. Ultimate baseball star? Oh, that's you? You cut your hair? Or you grew it out? I mean, sorry. I recognize that name. You play for the National Hype? Uh, yeah. That superb athletic specimen is... Yo, seriously? That nigga got a bone with Cuban link on his shit with a lock on it. His girl and this was probably on that shit. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured we'd be in the Ultimate Baseball Star and all... What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article in the picture of you, that's how you looked in. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Fuck, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, like, I'm mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head was like part of the fucking championship regulations. I mean, seriously? Oh my gosh, one of my subscribers just nutted. Get off his dick. Get off of his dick. Shouldn't no nigga just stick his tongue out and you over there flicking the bean. That shouldn't happen. Calm down. But now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not gonna diet back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he's still the team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Is that a paper clip? Oh, and that is a, that's a big paper clip too. Yeah! As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life? Skin and the music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on the guitar, and we'll be set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. Okay. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined a fucking um. Never imagined I hear something from a baseball player. That, uh, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. The fact that you can even do that with your voice, I gotta give you your props. You raw as shit for that. Hifumi Yamada. Hifumi, you look like I don't know. I don't even I don't even know what you look like, but you you look like a delicacy, and that's fucked up. But you look like you look like a, a humanized version of something niggas eat. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World uh 2D. <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I knew exactly who you mm -hmm. were, sir. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fanfics at comics at the school festival. The event is past and the legend. Hmm. 
Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies, like, that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The worst of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naigi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What, what, what kind of meaning, bro? I feel like you're the type of nigga to talk about the in-between of titties. Like, you know? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basic urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Hell yeah, I got a, I got a partial nigga on my screen. Because she probably not a nigga, but they gave her like one singular big curl. So you you partial nigga just for now. I know you don't claim it, but I'm going to claim it for you. All right, now to talk to those five people over there. And I promised I was going to sing my niggas a song. Hey, ya. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Hina? Hey. Swimming pro, for sure. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been cho uh, chosen as an up-and-coming Olympic cad uh, cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. Combination of her ability, appearance, and um proportions has been widely discussed online. Mm. Uh, mm. What was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Nagi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, no, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure. Got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Gonna name. Gonna name. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing it down or something. The fuck is you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you want to remember somebody's name, you gotta write it in your hand like three times. I've never heard that before in my motherfucking life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how you spell your last name? Spell exactly how I said. Hey, my character is a fuck. Hey, hey, hey! You gonna get his energy to the dark? You know what, Asahina? I got a song for you because my character want to be a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me turn the music up. I don't want to hear my voice that much. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I might fuck the floor, but here we go. Yeah. You a brown skin shorty. Yeah. I know you feel lonely. Especially when this nigga talking real crazy to you. Baby, I ain't trying to flirt. Uh-uh, cause you a high schooler, yeah, high schooler, so I'ma keep it cool, and I'ma keep it brief, but as you can see, my name is, mm, W-O-N, how you playing today, oh man, I don't really know, and I don't understand, why you talking crazy to this girl in front of men, uh, but don't carry men, Wait, okay, 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 okay. I sold, I sold, but here go verse two, here go verse two, here go verse two. Uh, keep the energy with them other niggas that's talking crazy to you. Nigga, I'm a fool. Nigga, I who the, the flow, the flow, the, the beat, the beat switch. Hold on, I got y'all. I'm gonna start it over. Yeah. And I'm gonna say the same shit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I got it mastered this time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, here we go, here we go, y'all. Here we go, here we go. I gotta wait for it to... I, uh, keep the same energy. Them niggas over there talking real crazily. Uh, put nuts to them. But you scared, cause you a loser. Uh, it ain't rhyme that well. But I'm trying to rhyme real swell. But I put a nigga face in, now it's swell. Duh, gave his ass a hematoma. Punch a nigga in the shit. Yeah, nigga, I don't play about my. Uh, you thought I was finna say it, but I didn't. Nigga, I don't play about my bitch. Yeah, if you wanna do it, I got blick. Yeah, and I'm up in this bitch like a stick. Yeah, up your ass, nigga. Pass, call it gas. Ooh, get it? Because if I up stick and blow it at his ass, he gonna pass away. But when you pass gas because it's coming out your ass, you pass. Nah, niggas ain't get that bar for real. Y'all niggas ain't get that bar for real. Come on, clap it up. Clap it up for me. Uh-huh. 
1241 on Spotify. That's not real. Don't look that up. A nigga might steal my name. I might have to do it just because I don't want my name stolen. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't got no fucking idea, and you're really being a bitch to me, so get out of my face. <laughs> I just figured it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. So this this my thing. This my thing. This my thing. He pro So this my thing. You got overwhelmed by you were over here thinking about you were over here thinking about proportions and that's what made you tweak out see this is the type of nigga that reject himself before he even get rejected that's what just happened right there that nigga was so mean because he all right bro i don't gotta explain what he just did i think i turned up the wrong thing i think i turned up my voice i don't give a damn i don't give a damn chihiro fujisaki hello nice to meet you i'm chihiro fujisaki you, I, I can't even guess off your appearance what you would do. Clairvoyant couldn't be, right? Programmer. Nah, you don't get programmer. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Let me turn the music back down. My fault, y'all. <laughs> anyway, hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? And it's another thing. You had all that hostility energy for the darker skin, but when you get back to this fucking milk, now you want to be nice again. They programmed that in on purpose. Somebody said you reach, and that's what I do. Have you seen how long my arms are? You should see my wingspan to my four, my five four body. My my wingspan is like five ten. Get off my dick. Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? No, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, okay, nah, I'm so this sorry. nigga just, this nigga just jippy, this nigga just stabby, but he will not keep that same energy with somebody that got a dick between their legs. He will not. Y you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to legions of fans. Um. Why are you fucking crying? Hey, so listen. Uh I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What are you apologizing for? Um, um, I mean, you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? I'm lost in thought. Yeah, it ain't nothing to do with me being upset or nothing. Thank you. Oh, okay, that's good. I was afraid you might didn't like me or something. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, no. Nah. She giving that energy, um... This is a spoiler for Jujutsu Kaisen, so if you haven't watched season 4, okay. skip like 10 sec 15 seconds. It's giving the energy of when Toji put that shit through that bitch brain. That's what that's what she looked like on my screen right now. I'm starting to understand why her friends are so in her. Her fans, sorry. What's her name? Kyoko? Kolioko! Yeah, it's where we go. Kolioko! Kanuro! Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigen. My gosh, why is the music so loud? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. You sound like a damn Zoro move. Ultimate, huh? So she one of the ones that you don't know what she do. It's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know. Her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy list. I did see that with them the ones that didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Shorty ass 12. Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate or something, right? So what ultimate something are you? Ultimate, mind my damn business. Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you shit, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turn up online, so I was thinking maybe she got big pie chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. You didn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Fuck you, dude. Not her, but my Hi. character. I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Junko, your fucking smile should never reach the edges of your eye. Can mine do that? I guess mine can. That was probably a jump scare. I'm so sorry for y'all. I didn't mean to do that to you. Ultimate fashionista, she's fucking scaring me. Anybody will recognize this one. She's fucking scaring me for some reason. She got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. Damn. Okay, now, this I don't want to get canceled for this. I don't want to get canceled for this. But why do y'all... And I know in real life. I know in real life that it's reality. 
but god damn why do y'all be making a proportion so crazy though like these be 16 you know like i don't know just calm it down like a little bit i'm just saying i'm just saying i've seen her on tons of magazine covers but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality what huh Come on. oh are you talking about my cover photos and junk <laughs> <laughs> well of course it was a totally photoshopped photoshop yeah, you know, edit it to hell and back with, like, computers and shit. Oh, so they're not real. What can we do? Come on, don't act surprised. You're gonna make me, uh, you're gonna make me all depressed. You thought I was that bad? You thought... Uh -huh. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the shit out of cover photos. It's totally normal to Photoshop your fucking Instagram. Your damn Tinder. Truly. Hmm. Got something for y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised by that. We'd be totally blown away by certain dangerous little divas of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Nah, you look like that in real life. You you look like that in real life. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Okay. Now, I, I dare you to keep that same energy with this nigga. He look like he ready to fight already. Mondo Owada. Name's Mondo Owada. Nice to fucking meet you. What up, nigga? Somebody racist ass just said you and Mondo would be best friends. Just because he just because he wanna act like he like just cause he act like he's street? Oh for sure. You think air nigga from the street for sure. He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even all from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. What does that shit say? Crazy Diamond? Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. Wrong, wrong word, not could wake up at the bottom of the sea. See what I'm saying? So you know how to you. So you know how to be cool. You know how to be cool. You just don't want to when you know she probably can't do shit to you. Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. I bet you be cool to Sakura too. Ultimate martial artist. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. The thread also said a little bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative of the primates. The feigned missing link. Any, th that's damn near racist. Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. But she cool though. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. What up? Yeah! Except to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke around and prod in my body. D just don't go too low. W what are you... I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. What a shame. You're not fit at all to act as my training partner. Why that bitch wink at me though? I'm not sure that's a shame for me. I ask her little ass to teach me, honestly. Give me the game. I, I want to put a nigga shit through. Yeah. Oh, she seemed cool. Name's Byakuya Togami. Byakuya? Bunkai. Oh, um, bro, like... Ultimate Affluent prodigy Progeny? What does that even mean? Uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-ass introduction I've ever heard. But I bet you won't say it to him. This one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir, a parent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing businesses, uh, business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. Is it progeny or progeny? Don't give a fuck. That's everything I learned about him from now on. Uh, yeah. Come on. We're done with introductions now, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. This aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. Yeah, but you won't keep that same energy that you have for them. It's a nigga on my screen. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Hey, I'm going to sing you a song too, bro. Don't even worry about it. Ultimate clairvoyant. Oh, it's him. For sure. Hell yeah. The transcendent ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly. I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. 
So I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Uh, okay, I give up. What? What happened? You're serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a sky fish in his mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. But hey, we should grab some brewskis. Uh, some we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We are not allowed to drink. We're in the high school. Since when did you become ultimate moral compass? Shut the fuck up. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And, well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Nah, let me go back to him. I gotta sing my song. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. They say we twins cause we look alike. Uh. It's only about the hair I'm seeing right. The flow changed. The beat it had changed. So I gotta, I gotta get back. I gotta lock back in. Uh. It's only cause niggas got a fro. Uh. And we darker than them other bros. Yeah. And they trying to be funny when they say that shit to me, but they won't do it with the hoes. Uh, I find that to be crazy. Uh, I'm about to be lazy. Yeah, after hitting Brewski. Uh, shout out nigga Drewski. Uh, I don't play no games. I don't play no games. If you thinking I'm goofy, I'll show you I ain't no lame. If you thinking I'm goofy, I'll show you I got pain in these. Five knuckle shuffles Hit a nigga in his face Make him buckle Yeah Hit his ass in his face Make him buckle Yeah 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 And guess who behind me when I do it Yasuhiro Mm-hmm he behind me with that clairvoyant shit Yeah, he told me my fortune Said that I'm the nigga and I'm really gonna do it Told me that the shit is written in stone And I'm blue and I, and I, and I could never do it Do what? Fail Nigga, can you tell? I'm rich as hell Uh <laughs> Alright, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done I'm done, I'm sorry, y'all I'm sorry I do not think we have been introduced I am Celestia Ludenberg. What? 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 Ultimate Gambler, Celestia Ludenberg? Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> and this and, and, and this my this is my thing about this is my thing about Makoto. This is my thing about Makoto. Yo fucking you you worried about a bitch not knowing how to say your last name. But Ludenberg, which is the, the 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 most normal, the most normal, is that racist? That might be racist. I don't mean that in a racist way. But no, it is racist because her name isn't of Japanese descent. He don't know what the fuck it is. It is racist. It's racist even when I didn't intend it. He understood everybody else's last name because it was of his 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 origin. But damn, you get like a white last name ish, and you don't know what the fuck to do, bitch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, somebody said, yo, with them race jokes, you need to chill the fuck out. Yo, with you on my dick, you need to get off. I don't like how I feel. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? And see, that's the thing, that's the thing. Cause I'm right though, ain't I? You see what I'm saying? I'm right though, cause he just brought it up though. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not wrong. Get off my dick and balls with that. Yep, and that's why he got mad at the other one. He was like, uh, you would be a dark-skinned Japanese that doesn't know how to spell my last name. Pitiful. That's why he was looking at her like that. Fuck some gray, get off my dick. If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she want to say any more about it. Guess the room and the threads were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic lolita clothes everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies you say she entered it and won an underground gambling tournament earning the title queen of liars she totally cleaned out the other players taking her life savings and laughing as she did it this my thing about her <laughs> and this my thing about you makoto you did all this research on her and you thought she was about to ask you thought she was about to answer that simple question genuinely get the fuck off her dick 
I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> yeah, that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of mm, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed buffoons. You and that moral compass nigga would love to get along. And it's getting on my nerves. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something? What was that about? Um, listen. My headphones not sitting in my ears right, y'all. Well, you see, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? <laughs> just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. When we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, it's just weird. What? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why the fuck we losing it right now! <clears throat> and that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes were, were uh, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it's a bunch of big metal plates. The fuck is that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the, heck? the fuck? What is it doing here? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it? Like... What, like a fucking kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at the school? Hey, come, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. If this is all part of the school's orientation procedure, can you go sit in the corner, meditate, and then tell the truth? Because you're just going off of dumbass. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. I see tank-destroying guns behind me with cameras on them. I'm not taking shit easy when I see things like that. So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh. <laughs> well, if that's all it is, snap time for me. You know what I mean. I was a way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Yay! What is that? Oh, okay. Teddy bear. Ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Uh. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful. So completely unconcerned. Couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It's like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Okay. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. For sure. That's all. I'll be waiting. For sure. What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me, give a fuck about him on my screen. You could have went without telling me he did that. Hey. hey, what? You're just gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped up for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. Look at them big ass guns behind you. Why is nobody acknowledging you know? that? All right, guess I head out. I uh, wonder what they got planned for. Is you like a, you look like a, you look like a, you look like a sharp ball sack with them little hairs sticking out uh, your uh, shit. And I'm not talking about his head. I'm talking about his chin. Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. How the fuck they have to go and kill the moon? Huh? Wait for me. I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> That's it then. I'll see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go to like. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. Not an easy feeling I had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looked like I want the only one. Kirigiri? Uh-uh, um, Sayaka. Um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally fucking weird. However... Maybe. But just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But I'm still kind of... Uh, no, I'm really fucking nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said go to the gym, right? 
Sakura, is you feeling me or something? Why you winking at me like that? Mondo. Dude, shit. The fuck kind of game are they playing? I forgot I have to move my um thing around. Junko. This is bad. It is totally creepy. What the fuck this pussy bitch thinking about? Oh, look at him. Now you pussy. Oh, I, I, you know what? Get off my screen, bitch. Sayaka. Uh, um. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. No, it ain't just you. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Huh. True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Are y'all are y'all literally talking left to right? Well. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Anything up here? Big gun. Big blick. Big blick. That surveillance camera looks like what has a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? Why would you... Why would you take the chances? I think that's my thing. Why would you take the chance? What is that? A mailbox. There's nothing inside. Alright, well... Nothing else to investigate? I assume not. Well, let's get up out of here then. Yeah. Who's behind me with them footsteps? Okay. Gymnasium. Uh, yeah. God, I had no idea this fucking Hope Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my dick. It ain't that much different from the time I spent in fucking jail, bitch. This place is even worse. Uh, um. Why is there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? Like, uh. they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ugh, shit. Well, fuck. It ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this shit over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, whoever called us here? Well, I mean, mm. hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop fucking running. Well, then. I too shall go. <laughs> Don't leave me. All right, time for some tutorial action. You can press tab key to observe the room you in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Damn. Damn. Kiri Giri. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Big sword. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Why are you flat from the side? What is that? This is bad. Totally getting a bad vibe right now. Camera. Another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched every second and I don't fucking like it. Uh, I feel like I've interacted with everything. Oh, the door. I didn't interact with the door. Sorry. Sorry. Still filled with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an interest ceremony. Yo. See? Told you. Totally normal interest. Uh, why they got that shit lit up like that? Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasizes how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! My gosh. You hurt my ears. Look at his fucking belly button. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. What are you then? I am Monokuma! Monokuma the teddy bear. And I am this school's headmaster. Okay. That's the strangest thing I'd ever seen. What is this nigga talking about? I don't fuck with it. What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. It's fucking hot. Such a bright... Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. All that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fucking fear. Wow! The teddy bear can talk! Calm down. I'm too sure there's a speaker inside of it. Hey! 
Come I just told now. you. I'm not a fucking teddy bear. Headmaster. What did you call me? Did he call me a bastard or did he say headmaster? I'm Monokuma and I'm your headmaster. See what? He fucking moved. Seriously, man, calm the fuck down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the faults in NASA couldn't create it or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, bear that. Really, you are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Why she just fry him and he moved past it like she didn't just do that? Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so... Huh. He has abandoned the gag. Good Everyone, morning. stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning! What's your you don't problem? have to say it back. Now then. Okay, let us commence with a, a most noteworthy and memorable interest ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life would be like here. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony with each other and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you fucking die, such as the school life you've been assigned. <laughs> the fuck did you just say? Until we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack all of the common... Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the fuck? You said I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, I can be 100% sure. Uh, -huh. uh And just for your information, you're completely cut off for the inside world. I mean, outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school. They're to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're here for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. What the fuck is this, dude? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it. I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna but I guess do? you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Having to live here forever will be quite the problem. What's this? Come now. What's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? Gaslighter, manipulator, deadly teddy bear on my screen. Ain't no free will, bitch. You you completely took this out of the terms and conditions, and I read this shit for the first time ever in my life. And now, before the intro ceremony is even finished, you already already decided you wanted to let you want to leave? Um. Oh, but you know. I guess I did forget to one mention. Um, um, there is one way for you to lead a school. Really? Actually. As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this little fun rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. Is it co communal or com communal? Communal or communal? I don't know. Don't give a damn. And if someone were to interrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What the fuck? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. Murder! Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? 
Somebody said, did you really just pronounce the L? My fault. Salmon. Salmon? I don't know how to pronounce it. Really? Salmon? Salmon. Don't give a damn. Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and singing get murdered creates a dark and shadow of despair. Extreme! And I find that so darn exciting. What the hell? The fuck are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what the fuck it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop fucking blabbering off with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. That bitch had to lock in just for that one little rage moment. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over again. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home. Your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go on ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree! Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? You know... You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? I'm right. right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like. <laughs> hey, my nigga, get the fuck out my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice trembling like, or rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, you little teddy bear bitch. This shit is going way too far, and I'm gonna rip the fucking stuffing out your ass if you keep playing with me, nigga. What's the matter? Playing with you? Fuck you mean? Nigga, ain't nobody playing except your fucking stylist that played in your head trying to make trying to make curls with a fucking sponge and they just make corn on a cob with your stupid shit, vegetable nigga. You son of a bitch. Fuck! <laughs> Mondo roared out and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of floorboards as he kicked and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! <laughs> Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comeback this time? Is it getting slower or is it just me? Piece of shit! Stop that fucking beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Oh, that bitch is gonna blow up. Hurry up and fucking throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did. Boo! Damn! The fuck? What the that that sure as shit ain't no damn joke. That actually blew the fuck up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I had never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear been destroyed, right? Hey. I told you I'm not a fucking teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. What? Hello? Uh -oh, there's another one. You, you son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. H hey, so, does this mean there's, like, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yeah. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So do not let that shit happen again. That's huh? not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well? Now then. Lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally, we call it the E-Handbook. Mm. 
<clears throat> yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school's regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys... You hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing! Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have a strict punishment in place for those that violate. Huh, okay, well... That brings our interest ceremony to a close. Bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life and see ya. That bitch left. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, how would you guys define what we just experienced? How? Why? I, I don't want to say any of this. We, we have to li li live here forever or k kill? What the fuck just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we lie. Lie, die. And the other choice is, mm -hmm. if we want to get out here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's but killing someone, that's... <laughs> We were abducted out of nowhere, stuffed into this placement to look like a fucking school, and now we're supposed to start killing niggas? This is... This is just... That bitch said... No! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Ridiculous. A lie. That's what that shit is. All these ridiculous things you heard. This had to be fucking fake. Hmm. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all of this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all, start, they all stared at one another. Trying to gauge each other thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. All right, let me see who feeling who. Mondo is about to kill Sayaka. Byakuya is about to kill Chiri Chihiri Chihiri. Um, 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 twin them might try to kill, uh, uh, Byak, no. Twin them not really looking at nobody. Hifumi might try to kill Junko. Nah, Hifumi, yeah, Hifumi might try to kill Junko. Sakura not gonna kill nobody and ain't nobody gonna kill Sakura cuz she'll beat the shit out you to Toki Toji might try to kill Sakura Celeste might try to kill Kirigiri and those are my predictions And if I if I get them wrong eat a dick and die and that's when it hit me I realized that the true terror were hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out You must kill someone if you want to leave those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each one of us Each of us became su suspicious of everyone else we were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? Ooh, this beat go hard. Killing niggas, that's my game, that's the game plan. I'm a real man, I kill a bitch too. What? I ain't sexist, nigga, I really hold motherfucking extras. Bullets in my back seat, bullets in the back. Pull it out the trunk, nigga, hit this, hit a nigga with the Mac. Hit, it, hit, it, hit a nigga in his back Yeah, I tried to freestyle smooth It ain't go too well But I don't give a damn nigga I got a wish and well Throw a coin in that bitch And I'll wish you well When I send you down I'll send you to hell, bitch Um Ooh Bro, that beat go too hard That beat go too hard Oh my gosh They gotta bring that beat back For another episode I gotta freestyle to this again This school Which had come out of nowhere To raise my hopes so high It's not a school of hope It's a school of despair. Okay, come shot, come shot, good to know. Surviving students, 15. 
Can I save right here? To be continued? What does that mean? Did I accidentally download a fucking... Did I accidentally download a fucking demo? What? Hey. Hey, brother and sister or something? Why they get them two specifically on the on the thing like that? Somebody said, what was that floating? Ice? Just ice, bro. Hmm. Damn. Finish the prologue. Okay, well, yeah, I'll save my data. Excuse me. Alright, y'all. Alright, 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 alright. How do I how do I stop all of this? Okay. That is episode one of Dang and Ropa, man. I ain't gonna do too much. I ain't gonna say too much. You ain't gotta say too much by the look of your eyes. I can tell you wanna fuck. Uh huh. I'm sorry, y'all. That was Dang and Rope episode one prologue, man. Man. Terrence Howard. That was episode one of prologue, man. You know how that got, man. Like button if you fuck with it. Like button if you fuck with it. You hear me? Like button if you fuck with it, you hear me? <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, tr I'm, I'm tripping right now. Stumbling. Oh. I don't know what's happening. I'm glitching. I'm glitching. Like button if you fuck with it, man. Comment if you get any other games you want me to play. If y'all don't give a fuck about the dub, I'm going to just leave it as it is. Because this is cool to me. But if y'all want me to change the Japanese, then we'll see what we we'll see, we'll see what's to it. But it's cool to me. Like button if you fuck with it. I said that about five times. Comment if you got any of the games you want me to play. <coughs> oh, God. Subscribe from... Oh, actually, actually hold on. Let me get y'all some chips, bro. I know I, I know, I, I know. I said that if you eat them bitches, they're going to make your breath stink, but I got you, for Hold on. I got you, bro. I should have gave you these bitches earlier, shorty. Here. Good shit, good shit. All right, man. That's Dang and Rope episode one. Like if you fuck with it. Like button if you fuck with it. Comment if you got any of the games you want me to play. Subscribe for more content like this. I catch y'all niggas in the next one. Peace. You ain't gotta do too much. Better look in your eyes. I could tell y'all wanna fuck.